Saturday, July 13th, with reference to the heat warning that's still in effect for most of the broadcast region, today could be 30 plus degrees. Humidex readings, could they reach 40 degrees? Jonathan Kovacs, and good morning to you all. Frontal boundary lying right across the Trans Canada Highway with a convective cloud cell over Capitol Gasing with a thunderstorm there from this morning. By the way, single digit temperatures last night for Moosonee. The automated weather station did report heavy rain between sunset or dinner and sunset last night. And a scattered shower did hit Capitol Gasing last night as well. Partly the mostly cloudy conditions across the rest of the broadcast region. That frontal boundary connects to a low, a new low showing up on the map from Manitoba. The line is warm air loft from northwest Ontario. Warm cool air loft here at home in towards Quebec as well. South of this line, it's calm and quiet. North of this line, it's busier and more active. Hopefully, it's going to be non-severe weather for the northwest portion of Ontario. Lightning bolts, as the sun was rising, Capus Gason got a thunderstorm this morning. We'll show you that in a moment. 50-plus strikes just north of Moonbeam, Smooth Rock Falls area. 7 a.m., it hits 655 Highway 11 corridor and extends northeast of Cochrane, Ontario by 8 o'clock. It continues around Cochrane, but it looks like it's diminishing and moving over towards the Quebec border. 5.55 a.m., I believe, was Captain Gaston's time frame for thunder only. By 6 a.m., this heavier blob of showers affects Captain Gaston Airport with thunderstorms, moderate rain. Very short-lived. The cell continued to progress towards the north and east with the lightning strikes, and that's just a little bit of what happens when you get heat, residual heat aloft from the day prior and for early morning. Your 8 o'clock systems map for this morning. The forecast says, good to go. It's going to be calm here at home. Variable clouds, maybe a couple of cloud layers scattered or broken. The new low follows the Ontario-Manitoba border towards Hudson's Bay and will provoke some thunderstorm activity west of Capscasinghurst with high cloud tops of 34,000 feet for the storm cloud tops. By the afternoon, the forecast map says there's nothing much going on here at home in the timmins Cochrane area. We'll call it variable clouds. Check your local listings in case they do change given any kind of instability. The low itself is stuck there. It's neutral, but it's weakening. The warm front could provoke some high continuous storm cloud tops at 34,000 feet. Maybe the risk of a thunderstorm northwest of Capus Casing Hurst, west of Moosonee. The further south you go, the better the weather. So fair weather for the Great Lakes, thanks to a high sitting over the Detroit-Windsor area.